Yesterday, a judge scheduled Tavron Honey's execution date for August 8th. Yeah, KUTV's Christian Cedar spoke to a death penalty expert about what's next in this complicated process. Christian? Yeah, Mark and Heidi, she says before moving forward with the execution, he will get a chance to make a clemency application to tell his story and explain why he shouldn't be executed. After 25 years on death row, the execution for Honey may become a reality. A lot of serious questions that need to be answered before this execution moves forward. Robin Marr, the executive director of the Death Penalty Information Center, highlighted serious concerns about the untested drug combination intended for the lethal injection. She says this will determine what route the state will take, but for now, many unanswered questions remain. This is an untested, unproven combination of drugs, never been used in another execution before. It consists of ketamine, fentanyl, and potassium chloride. And right now, Honey's defense is asking for a written protocol to describe the process in detail. What is the amount of drugs that will be used? Uh, how can we know that they will be effective for their purpose? Right now, it's my understanding that the department has not provided a written protocol uh, that explains the process in any kind of meaningful detail. Mar explains a delay in the execution is possible. It is important that we first understand uh, what this combination of drugs could do to a human being. So Utah needs to make sure that the combination it chooses will be safe and effective. That pharmacist has said that he or she will be providing the drugs. That, as I understand it, is illegal under Utah state law. Uh, those sorts of controlled substances need a doctor to prescribe them. So uh, the more information we learn, the more concerning this all becomes. On Monday, Honey's attorney said that he plans to appeal that ruling. We will be sure to keep you updated as we learn more. Reporting live, Christian Sita, KUTV 2 News.